Hi guys, welcome back to A-Level Business channel and in this video we're going to look at chapter 50, A-Level Business at Excel Theme 3, Organic Growth. Okay, so the main things that we need to look at or, or cover in this topic are the distinction between inorganic and organic growth and methods of growing organically and fun final one advantages and disadvantages of organic growth so let's start with the definition of organic growth it refers to the increase in revenue generated from a company's existing operations achieved through enhancing product offerings expanding market reach and improving customer experiences so Organic growth is literally you focusing on what you're doing right now, your current operations in your business and focusing on that and expanding your reach gradually, step by step. So why is this important? It's crucial for long-term sustainability and success. It builds strengths and capabilities, fosters innovation and customer loyalty, which is good for us in the long run as a business. Companies can minimize risk and better control their growth trajectory. Again, growth is an important aspect of business strategy. So it's it's clear as business student, it should be clear to you that growth should not be taken like, like, lightly. You need su subtle growth, you need gradual growth, you need stable growth. You don't need the growth to be so fast that your business can't catch up with it okay so distinction between inorganic and organic growth organic growth refers to the expansion achieved through internal resources and capabilities such as sales increases and new product development in contrast inorganic growth occurs through mergers acquisitions or alliances leveraging external assets so organic growth internal Inorganic growth, external. Organic growth, internal resources, capabilities, capacities, increasing your sales, increasing your profit, developing products, innovating products. Inorganic growth, merging with another firm, acquiring another business, forming an alliance, leveraging those external assets to boost company size and market power or market share. Next, examples of growth types. So you've got a company that increases sales, that's obviously organic growth then you've got a company that acquires a competitor inorganic growth next we've got methods of growing organically so number one product development innovating existing products or creating new ones is fundamental for organic growth now successful product development meets evolving consumer needs and enhances market competitiveness so it can be seen with tech companies launching upgrades regularly to their products because they're keeping up with the competitiveness. They're keeping up with the tech involvement, consumer involvement, and they're making themselves more competitive by launching those upgrades regularly. Next, you've got market expansion. Organic growth can also be achieved through market expansion, targeting new demographics or geographical areas. Then you've got customer retention strategies. So customers walking through that door is easy customers coming to you for the first time is easy what's hard is actually keeping that customer keeping that customer retention rate so you've got to make sure that you build that relationship with the customer that the customer has that type of an experience that the customer comes back so you have the repeat business customer satisfaction personalized marketing acquiring cost effective and uh, obviously organic growth is much more cost effective than acquiring new businesses Operational improvements, again, final one, you've got to improve your operations, which means the the more your operations are efficient, the more efficient they are, the lower your costs, and the more you grow as a business, the more productive you are. Okay, finally, final concept, advantages of advantages and disadvantages of organic growth. Advantages, number one, sustainable development. So, this approach helps companies reduce their environmental footprint while gradually expanding their operations without overextending. So one example would be Patagonia, exemplify sustainable development, practice that prioritizes ecological balance. So that this company, 
great example of doing sustainable business brand loyalty organic growth fosters strong brand loyalty as it emphasizes customer satisfaction and value creation obviously so brands like apple have built significant loyalty through organic strategies cost efficiency Organic growth often leads to greater cost efficiencies as businesses leverage existing resources instead of acquiring new ones. So you make do with what you have. As a business, if you've got a factory, if you're manufacturing some kind of product or good, then make sure that you're utilising that cap- that capacity, that factory, all the work- workers, all the machinery and everything, and making it as efficient as possible. That's organic growth, again. Now that we've covered advantages, let's look at disadvantages of organic growth. Organic growth can present significant challenges, which may hinder a company's ability to expand rapidly. Number one, time consuming process. So, of course, if you're going for that, uh, that slow, gradual, step by step growth, then it's going to be time consuming. It won't be quick. It won't be rapid expansion. It won't be acquiring a company and straight away you get that target market, target audience that you were looking for limited resources organic growth relies heavily on a company's internal resources again smaller businesses may struggle to invest enough to grow initiatives so again it's what you've got so if you don't have the capacity you can't grow obviously market risks so organic growth exposes companies to market fluctuations customer demand changes and competitive pressures that could also leave a business with significant financial losses and stunted growth Okay, so I think with this, our chapter 50, Organic Growth, is complete. I've pretty much covered through all of the main learning objectives that you need to know as a business student for chapter 50, Organic Growth, A-Level Business at Excel Theme 3.